Hey there, YouTubers, subbies, and those of you who are just stopping by. Sit down for a second. Um, I just got home from chaperoning a dance at the school I work at. Um, those of you who don't know me, I am a teacher. And that's one of the reasons why I'm making this video. Um, if you're thinking about being a teacher, there are some things that you have to think about, especially depending on what demographic of students do decide, you decide you decide to work with that it can make or break your career for example um i started off teaching in north minneapolis and in an urban area and teaching isn't the same as it was when i was coming up as a kid um teaching has changed it's a lot of people in the field who shouldn't be there and there's a lot more people who should be there that are there um i'm just going to share with you my top five things that you should think about if you are thinking about becoming a teacher um the number five thing i want to share is time you're going to spend a lot of time with these children you're molding their lives if you're there just for money, I don't think you should be there because you're wasting your time. And most importantly, you're wasting our future's time. I don't think it's fair to them. Number four, you are everything. Don't think just because you punch in and punch out or however it works for you, that's where it ends. No, oh, oh, no. You might come in at eight o'clock you might leave at 2 33 but it doesn't stop there you have to be planning you have to be preparing you have to be prepping you have a lot of stuff that you have to be so not only are you teacher sometimes you're in that classroom you're going to be mom sometimes you're going to be a field trip um set or upper i know that's not a word but i could think of the word you have to be just on top of everything like people put teachers on this pedestal but we're not getting the same respect that we got back in the day which is cool because i don't do it for that i do it for the babies number three um depending on your demographics again you might spend a lot of time doing actual classroom management it happens um I'm not going to harp on it in this video because I don't want this to be too long, but depending on the demographics of your school, you, well, the demographics of the students that you serve, you might have to do a lot of classroom management. If you're not a person who's um, made for that, maybe you shouldn't try to teach in an urban area. Number two, time. I'm going to go back to time. Yes, again, you're going to punch in, you're going to punch out. But that salary has you having to do everything. You're expected to do parent-teacher conferences. You're expected to go on field trips. You're expected to call parents. You're expected to have meetings. You're expected to work on IEPs. You're expected to bring in outside resources. You're expected to do a lot of stuff. So if you are a person that just wants to work a nine to five and be done, this ain't for you. Save yourself some time, boo-boo, and save us, especially time for our babies i'm gonna not harp on that the last and final thing is you carry many hats i'm gonna go back to point number four that i made you're not just teacher some days you're gonna be mom some days you're gonna be counselor some days you're gonna be the police some days you're gonna be their pastor and i'm not trying to get denomination or anything but i'm sorry if i offended anyone but you're gonna play some type of support for that child just know being a teacher is rough it takes a lot of resiliency and like right now it's about i don't know maybe 10 o'clock and i just got home i've been outside all day i leave every day at 6 30 to go to work i just got home at 10 o'clock if you don't think this is for you don't waste your time Thanks for watching. See you next time.